Is it true that the City of London is not part of the UK? All right, we're doing this. When I started getting comments like this, and I've had quite a few, it really threw me at first because I have worked in the City of London for eight years. I have worked for the City of London for eight years, and at no point was I ever made aware that I was working for a foreign country. So here's what I think's happened. So this is Greater London, right? It's, you know, where Buckingham Palace is, the London Eye, all that good stuff. That tiny red blob in the middle is what's called the City of London with a capital C. And it's basically the descendant of the original Roman part. And the local government of the city specifically is so old that we don't know how old it is. It certainly predates the English Parliament. Because it's so old and powerful, it's traditionally been given a lot of leeway and freedoms that other places don't. So one of the three clauses of Magna Carta that's still on the books says that the city of London shall have all of its ancient freedoms. When William the Conqueror first invaded in 1066, one of the very first things he did was tell London that they could have all their ancient freedoms in the William Charter. But this just means, like, they can pick their own mayor and stuff. It doesn't mean they're part of a separate country. That's why William made that charter, because he was telling them the new rules that they would be governed under now. The only other reason I can think of why someone might think that the city is not part of the UK is the Temple Bar ceremony. So traditionally, when the monarch wants to come through the city, which is not often these days, and they stop at Temple Bar before they get in, and they meet the Lord Mayor, and they have a little ceremony. And I think some people have spun this in the past as, like, the Queen needs the Lord Mayor's permission to come in. But she doesn't. It's just a politeness acknowledging the city's self-governance and for the Lord Mayor to also acknowledge his loyalty to the crown. Oh yeah, did I not mention that? Whenever we get a new Lord Mayor in the City of London, the very first thing they have to do is go to the Royal Courts of Justice and swear allegiance to the Queen. Now, if there's another reason that people think the city is not part of the UK, you can tell me in the comments and I guess I can debunk that one too. But yeah, they're not a sovereign nation and they've never claimed to be.